I want to congratulate all of you for being here. We're going to celebrate. This is our 10th National Tech Honor Society induction. Um, yes, yeah, so we're very excited. So we're going to begin with uh, standing and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. So everybody stand. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So welcome. My name is Nicole Graziano, and I'm the advisor of National Technical Honor Society, as well as the school counselor here at Fred K. Marchman Technical College. Um, I'd like to introduce Mr. Aegis. Most of you know him. Um, Mr. Aegis is our director and has been here for how many years? <laughs> awesome. So he's going to do our welcome. So uh, good morning, everyone. First, I just want to go over some logistics with you. So um, we do need to social distance, as you see, and we need, do need to follow CDC guidelines. You hear me say that every day, right? But Ms. Graziano and I, we're gonna kind of like um, just take our masks off so that uh, we're streaming this out so that those out in wherever land can hear us and see us, and um, we certainly want to celebrate you guys. So when we get close, we'll put these on, or if I'm talking, Ms. Graziano will have hers on. When she's talking, I'll have mine on, and someone will have to remind me to put mine back on. So. <laughs> Uh, we just we just want to clarify that we do follow those guidelines very stringently here as you guys know so um, We are really really thrilled and I do want to welcome you you uh, you guys comprise eight of our Most outstanding and we have a lot a lot of good students here this year and so Congratulations to each and every one of you you know, um, we at Fred K. Marchman Technical College provide student-centered learning. You hear me say that every single day, right? And so I'm just going to stop there because in our mission, when we talk about being student-centered, it really is about recognizing and celebrating an occasion like today for you guys, the students. And so we're thrilled to be able to share this with you. You, uh, who's the last one on our list? Let me give, uh, Riley, where's Riley? Right Riley, you are number 275. Uh, so as you heard Miss um, Ms. Graziano say, we've celebrated 275 students over many years. And so that's a select few. And so we have on our campus on any given day, over 600 students coming and going back and forth over the year, way over a thousand, and of all of those, we have eight. Eight that are selected for National Technical Honor Society. And so, what, what does that really mean? Well, uh, in order to be even considered, I'm not sure you're aware of this, but you need to be enrolled in technical programs, right? But you also need to maintain a 3.8 grade point average, 98% attendance, 98%. So that's like one day, if that much, that you guys missed during, during the time of your studies here. No discipline referrals, and believe it or not, with some adults, we do have some of those. And then um, you needed the uh, recommendation about your character and your work ethic from your, from your instructor. And so it's, it's really, really cool that you guys are sitting here. I don't know if any of you ever thought that you would be selected for this honor, but um, you know, I, I, we take this really, really to heart because uh, it's really time to celebrate those who really rise to the top and rise to the occasion. It's not easy. We all have lives, right? Things happen along the way, but to get here for 98% of the time speaks volumes. So that at the end of the day, when we provide the knowledge and skills for today's workforce, when your instructor is recommending you for that job, they can say with confidence that you guys are gonna be there every single day, on time, without question. Because you've demonstrated that. Not everyone can say that. Trust me, not even adults here on my staff. But you guys have demonstrated that. So 
congratulations, because it's not easy, right? Whether we have kids, whether we had a tough night, whether we had a work, whatever, flat tires, you know, that stuff happens, life happens. But you guys, some way, somehow, made it here. And not only did you make it here, but you excelled. And so we want to say congratulations and recognize you for that. So we do that through the National Technical Honor Society. With that being said, um, the goal um, of the society is to see that deserving technical students be recognized and that people of the community become aware of the talents and abilities of the young people and adults who choose technical education pathways to a successful future. And I can tell you in this community, I have a lot of acquaintances that are in technical related fields that are making a lot, lot of money. And so your skill sets are needed out there. And so we want to say congratulations to you. We want to push you forward. We want to support you. Uh, we want to encourage you to go out there and be the best you can be. I know that's a little cliche, but you know that's what that's what this is really all about. So we we, Ms. Graziano, you're a super advocator in this done. We put together this ceremony to recognize and celebrate each and every one of you. And so we'd like to do that, and we appreciate you sharing your talents with us this morning. So I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Thank you, Mr. Ages. So, you're all sitting here, what is the purpose of National Tech Honor Society? It is nationally recognized throughout the United States. So a career and technical education program um, does offer a chapter of National Tech Honor Society. So the purpose of this organization is to promote the ideals of honesty, service, leadership, and skill development among America's future workforce, to reward scholastic achievement in career and technical education, and to award scholarships as well, to assist society members in their pursuit of career and technical goals to help to build and maintain a stronger, more positive image for career and technical students um, through programs in schools, in the local community, and throughout the nation. To encourage the practice of high standards of personal and professional conduct and individual responsibility among the membership. To help members, member schools to initiate and maintain strong working partnerships with local institutions of business, industry, and commerce to advance the growth and ideals of the society through the United States of America. And so you may uh, be looking around and seeing a lot of purple, silver, and white. So uh, this is my official national National Technical Honor Society tie that I wear for every one of these, and I only wear it for this occasion. This was given to me by a student. But it, it certainly does represent the colors of the National Technical Honor Society. And so the official emblem of the organization is a shield crossed um, by a scroll bearing the letters NT. HS for National Technical Honor Society. Above the shield is the head of the American Bald Eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling the eagle's head. The seven stars symbolize the attributes of the National Technical Honor Society membership. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership. The official motto of the National Technical Honor Society is success favors, success favors the prepared mind. So this, right now, we are going to uh, participate in a candle lit ceremony. 
And so Mr. Aegis is going to begin by lighting the center candle. The center candle represents the first attribute, which is skill. Skill is the use of knowledge to develop great ability and expertness necessary to make a positive difference in a particular occupational field. We light this candle to represent skill. The second attribute is honesty. <laughs> the second attribute is honesty. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and fair with everyone while at work or play. We light this candle to represent honesty. The third attribute is service. Service is giving assistance and being ready and able to provide a helpful and useful act. We light this candle to represent service. The fourth attribute is responsibility. Responsibility involves the ability to act without guidance or superior authority and being answerable for your actions. We light this candle to represent responsibility. The fifth attribute is scholarship. Scholarship is the distinctive mark of one who has mastered an area of learning as reflected in the quality of his or her work, especially with respect to scope, thoroughness, and care. We light that candle to represent scholarship. The sixth attribute is citizenship. Citizenship is being entitled with full civil rights and exercising the duties, rights, and privileges of this statute. We light this candle to represent citizenship. And the seventh attribute is leadership. Leadership is the responsibility of serving as a guiding force and directing the way by going forth with courage and confidence. We light this candle to represent leadership. So new members, we invite you to, um, we're going to read the pledge on the back. To turn your program over, we're going to read the pledge. We hope you recognize these seven attributes in yourself and value these qualities, which make you eligible for membership into our National Technical Honor Society. So at this time, if you would please stand up and recite with us. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the highest standard of personal conduct. I will apply myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, my skills, and my knowledge in a career of my choosing, and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community and my country. I think a round of applause for everybody. Okay, you may be seated. At this time, I'm going to call your names, or Mr. Aegis, how about you call names, and we will give you your certificate. Did I? I've said it many times on the news. Did I? Did I really do anybody's name a disservice? Well, I put out the mic before the war. Oh. Okay. Oh, isn't it? Oh. So it's Riley McCorder. Yeah. There we go. We got that. Thank you. So if you would please come on up. Um, we've got a, a beautiful certificate uh, in recognition of your great work. And um, first up, representing the program of automotive service technology, we have Justin Crouch. Systems and Information Technology, we have Danny Gale. Cosmetology, we have Emily Kirschbaum. And from Cosmetology. 
cosmetology. We have to work with Helen. Congratulations. And from HVACR, we have Joshua Johnson. as we are of you. Uh, this is a big deal. Not, not everyone is selected as a National Technical Honor Society member, especially during these most difficult times. So um, I don't know about you, when I was in school, it was always one of my goals to be in an honor society. I never got there, so I share this with you. But for some of us who might be just out of high school for a year or two or a couple, for some that might be out of high school for a long time, coming back to school. Did you ever think that you might be sitting in these seats being recognized for outstanding work, right? So we want you to carry this from here to there and do your very, very best you can out in our community and spread the talents and the skills that Ms. Graziano talked about with those out in the community. So we honor you today. Um, we honor you as one of 275 uh, as a member of Fred K. Marchman Technical College's National Technical Honor Society. So be proud, as Ms. Dunn says, proud to be a Phoenix. Be proud to be a Phoenix today. We are so 